In this video, we're going to be going over four of the best use cases for AI callers. If you are a business, this video is going to give you um, a bunch of ideas of the capabilities of these AI callers at this point in time. And if you are an AI agency owner, this video is going to show different services and solutions we could actually build out for our clients of our AI automation agency. First of all, who am I and why should you watch this video? So my name is Brock Messerich. I'm an AI automation agency owner. We help businesses build out AI voice calling solutions, just like you're going to see in this video um, to actually help automate the sales process, customer service process, um, handle inbound leads, qualify leads, all these different use cases. So we have tested out a bunch of these different AI voice models um, and we have seen the different things that work, what don't work. So um, if you are interested in that, this video is gonna be perfect for you. And this channel is tailored for people looking to implement these AI solutions to their businesses, especially these AI voice calling assistants. So here we go, first use case. So it's gonna be for a solar company. It's gonna be an outbound AI caller to give free project quotes. So um, let's go over the details here. So what we're going to do, um, or kind of the point of this is for a solar company, if they run a Facebook ad to give a free solar project um, to quote to a homeowner. So it's going to collect the contact information via this Facebook ad. So this is something that the business will already have set up, or you could also um, add this in your services, create the ad for them, run the ad for them, charge more money. But here we go. The first action is going to be an AI call is initiated and calls the number that the lead adds to the form. So they fill out this form and immediately a trigger is then sent for the AI caller to then call the lead. And the goal of this AI caller is to ask specific questions about the property, um, such as property size, current energy bill, which direction the roof is facing. So all of these different variables that are you know, that we need to have in order to give a correct quote or a great estimate to these potential leads on how much, um, you know, a solar project would cost for their property. So that's the main goal of the caller is to extract this information. And we're going to do a bit more, but that is the overall uh, main goal. So the next action is going to be extract those information from the phone call and store them in a Google sheet. As I said, um, the main function of the AI caller is to take this information and we need to store that somewhere. So we're going to create a um, automation where it stores inside of a Google sheet. And right here is just a note. So the AI is going to have a custom knowledge base that teaches it how to give an accurate quote based on the information given. So we're going to provide this thing with a document um, in order to um, accurately assess how much this project's going to cost. So we'll use different examples of previous builds or whatever, or instructions on how, um, this company creates our quotes. So it's going to have that guideline to follow, um, with training wheels essentially to, to show, you know, so it's not giving, you know, wrong quotes. So the next action is going to be send an SMS text message to the lead with a project quote and let them know how to move forward. So that is the finished objective of this um, this AI caller, it's going to send a text message, um, with the quote. And then, you know, again, let them know how to move forward to hop on a call, um, either with another AI that we set up or with a, um, salesperson for the solar company. Now on to use case number two. So this is going to be for a dental office. I'm appointment booking receptionist. So that is pretty self-explanatory, but let's go over the details. So we're going to be creating an AI receptionist that answers the phone and books appointments for patients based on calendar availability. So the first action is going to be when a patient calls the dental office, um, then move on. So the AI receptionist is triggered, um, which is the AI caller essentially. And then we move on. So the AI answers <coughs> any questions to patients um, or answers any questions any questions that patients have and ultimately book them an appointment based on the calendar availability. So we are going to be um, pulling this information via our appointment scheduling APIs. Um, you know, we might use Calendly or Cal.com, uh, maybe even go high level depending on what you need to use this, uh, you know, which, which calendar you need to integrate for your client. So note, the AI receptionist will ask questions such as name, email, phone number, reason for appointment, et cetera. And so these custom variables will be stored inside of a Google spreadsheet or the dental office's CRM. So the, for this use case and for this example, we're gonna be storing this inside of a Google sheet. So we could then have the information of all of these people who scheduled an appointment. So that way a real life receptionist or something could use that information. And the last action here is going to be to send an SMS text message confirmation that also sends reminders before the appointment. So we're going to be able to set up a workflow trigger or something um, within, you know, make or Zapier. So that way it 
uh, could send them a confirmation right after the call and then say a day before the call or a day before the appointment, um, we automatically send them another text message. So that is going to be the last action there. So let's move on. With that being said, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Meet Vandasta, the all-in-one software platform for agencies. With Vandasta, you are equipped with all the tools you need to market, sell, bill, and fulfill services for your clients. Give your clients a white label app filled with essential solutions every businesses need, including a CRM, social media management, local SEO, and reputation management. Meanwhile, their automated reporting tools give them peace of mind about their return on investment while your agency bills them a subscription that gets deposited to your bank account. My favorite feature is their extensive marketplace to build tailored packages for your clients featuring best of breed products from companies like Google and Meta. So if you are an agency owner and you are looking for different ways to provide different solutions to your clients, maybe even Dasta is exactly what you're looking for. Look at the link in the description to join for a 14 day free trial with Vandasta. Use case number three here. So this is gonna be an inbound hotel receptionist. Um, so it's gonna be an activity specialist. So what that means is, um, or I'll come down here to goal. So the goal for this AI assistant is going to be, um, it's gonna be an AI hotel receptionist that gives the guest recommendations on what they want to see and do. So if people are staying at a hotel, um, we could have this as kind of like an extra service or something um, to where the patient or the guest could actually call this number and then say, hey, you know, I'm here and I'm looking to do X and Y and do all these different things. And then the AI will give recommendations based on those, um, you know, based on what they're trying to get out of their trip. So the first action is going to be a guest calls the front desk um, or note here, uh, we could also use a special number to speak with their activity specialist and have this be different from their front desk. Um, that's probably the best use case. You know, this is something that we could just say, hey, you know, call this number and we can, you could speak with our activ activity specialist. Um, so that might be a cool little offer for these, for these hotels. So from there, the AI receptionist is triggered. And then the AI asks the guest what they want to get out of their trip. Kind of like I was saying, um, do they want to go to shows, sporting events, wineries, etc.? Are they there for business? Are they there with their family? Um, it'll extract all that information. And then based on the response, the AI receptionist gives a suggested um, itinerary on activities. So we could even give a structured, like full on itinerary of, oh, this day you do this, this day you do that. And for dinner, you could go here and then get drinks here. So that sort of stuff um, is all within the capabilities of what this AI um, receptionist could do. And then here is just an idea. So we could create an upsell where the AI receptionist can store the itinerary recommendation in a Google sheet. Um, and a human could actually book these things for the guests so they don't have to. So, um, there might be a way for AI to actually do the booking um, themselves, but for this, I mean, it's probably best if we just, you know, could store this information in a Google sheet. Um, or some do form of document. And then um, the hotel, like the actual receptionist or somebody that works with them, even a VA or something, could go ahead, book these um, activities for them and then give this to the patient. So they don't have to do any of it. It's all kind of automated. So that's an idea for kind of an upsell here. Um, but yeah, let's move on. So, um, now let's dive into use case number four. So this is going to be for a software company. It's going to be customer service. So um, let's dive into the details here. So it's going to be customer service for a software company that answers any questions regarding how the software works or any issues the users may be having. So just basic customer service for software. Um, the action is going to be obviously the user calls the software company's customer service number. Uh, maybe we have a separate customer service number um, for this for specific use cases or specific inquiries. Um, from there, it's gonna answer all of the questions the user has as well as troubleshoot any issues. So again, like these other models we've talked about, we're going to be able to <coughs> upload a knowledge base um, into these AI assistants. So that way there could be kind of like an SOP um, of how these, you know, the type of questions that are asked and then how we want to respond with them. So that'll all have to do with, um, you know, our prompting and our knowledge base that we're going to add to our assistants. And so here's a big point. So if there are still no resolutions, the AI is going to then store the conversation summary into a task management software. So um, either this could be like Trello or Asana or even just Google Sheets, some place where we have this information structured or this data stru in a st structured format. Um, so that way we could get a summary. And 
Um, again, note that AI is just gonna have a custom knowledge base with FAQs that the customer service reps are usually asked. Um, and yep, looks like I repeated this here. So um, I guess right here, um, this is the biggest part is storing this information. So again, say that the res the um, inquiry is not solved, then that will then get added to a Google Sheet. Then your real customer service reps could then go look into this and then create a ticket for the um, customer service team to actually answer these questions um, via a human. So that is that, let's move on. So there we have it. Those are four different use cases for AI callers within your business. So if you have a specific use case that you'd actually like me to build out on this channel and document a full guide, a full tutorial on how to do it with these different softwares, how to integrate them, how to create these automations, make sure to drop a comment below. Which solution one out of four would you guys like me to build out on this channel? Whichever one I get the most um, you know, comments for, I'll actually go ahead and build that out for you guys and document it on this YouTube channel. Uh, with that being said, if you are a business owner and you have an idea for an AI calling system like this, or you want to speak with me about how we could build one of these out for you um, in multiple different use cases, make sure to book a call below. There is a Calendly link to speak with me and my agency, speak with me and my team to actually build out a custom AI solution for you. Uh, so you could actually utilize this AI calling technology with inside of your business and automate that process for you. So make sure to book a call below if you're interested. With that being said though, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, um, subscribe, and I will make sure to see you guys in the next video.